Hey folks, Valentin the Mad here and today I have dev interview number 2 on Trepang 2 with Wilson who is the lead developer of the game. In this one we discussed how the game came to be, some of the major milestones, a bit about the destruction responses as well as release and post launch plans such as mod support. Hope you enjoy this one and stay tuned for the character response part of it coming tomorrow. So hi, welcome back, let's begin once again with your introduction. Hi again Valentin. Um... Yeah, my name is Wilson. I'm the lead developer of Treypang 2. I do a little bit of everything like programming, uh, technical art, optimization. Yeah, I'm involved with like everything, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah, um, we've been working on this game for a long time. Like uh, for me, it's been six years since like, I guess I officially started it. Yeah, the game's about to launch on June 21st and it's super exciting. So yeah, I don't want to hear about like the major milestones of development. So there are a few that I know of. Uh, you got a publisher, the team expanded, and you know what else? Yeah, I guess. Wh where should I start? Should I start from the beginning, or like, I guess? <laughs> oh yeah, from the very beginning. Yeah, let's go for the history of the Pink. <laughs> if you're okay with me doing a long history lecture, Dude, please do. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh man, this is gonna sound super pretentious, but um, <laughs> I guess yeah. Trey Pang two first started in I think late. 2016, um, I, I just quit my job and I was trying to learn Unreal Engine um, just for fun. So I made this yeah, silly little shooter and it was inspired by the game Super Hot, actually. And then I just, yeah, I released a demo in 2017 and then some people liked it. Um, so yeah, one guy joined the team, um, that's Brandon, uh, one of the Brandons. <laughs> um, and then yeah, I just I made it a goal to just like release another demo every year, just to like I guess see how it goes and and get more people to join the team. So then I think that went on until yeah 2019, and then we basically had the core team of, of four people. Uh, it's me, uh, the two Brandons. We have yeah Brandon Tran, Brandon McKagan, um, and then yeah Jacob, of course, our animator and tech artist. Uh, oh, I forgot. So, uh, I guess what, what does everybody even do? Everybody has like ten jobs. It's so hard to, dis to describe, but it's like, yeah, like we have one Brandon who, like Brandon Tran does, like Brandon, he does art, voice direction, story, uh, level design. We have music Brandon. He does the music, uh, sound design, community. Jacob does animation, technical art. Uh, he also makes a lot of bugs that I fix. <laughs> but yeah, basically we, we had our core team in, in uh, 2019 um, and then I think that's the demo that, that managed to get a lot of attention uh, I think of course like partially thanks to you I think your your video got us like quite a number of views like how, how many videos I mean how many views did that video get let me look it up uh, I think close to 100k damn. or so I think <laughs> yeah. let me see what I can find yeah it was a cool interview yeah let me see Oh, it's age restricted on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, um, of course, yeah. yeah, then I guess right after that, like all the publishers were just blowing up our, our inboxes. Yeah, I mean that that was actually really cool, like just getting to make a, a video on, on your channel because like I've been following you like since forever and like um, all the gore stuff, like you know, I, I just watched through your videos for reference. Um, I remember at the time I was mostly inspired from your insurgency gore video i think and i was like oh yeah that was yeah and i was like okay I'll... yeah they did uh, quite a good job yeah yeah right i mean even for back then like um for a multiplayer game with like you know high frame rate especially um mm -hmm. and they use unreal engine as well so i was like okay let's just try to copy that and make something similar and then um i guess we got a bit carried away and we made it so you could blow people apart and their intestines and brains and hearts would fly out. <laughs> but, but yeah, that was kind of the starting point. And uh, I guess your channel kind of inspired us to make some gory stuff. So I guess, yeah, then then after that, like, um, yeah, like a whole bunch of publishers um, started reaching out to us. Um, and I, I think, yeah, actually, a lot of them came from, from your video. Like, a lot of them mentioned your video, actually. <laughs> but, uh, well, I think actually it was a pretty good timing because it was, it was both me and uh, Jimin. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like way bigger than me, so yeah. 
Yeah. That must have been a big factor. Yeah, it was you and G, man. Yeah, he's, a, he's a cool guy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, well, I think maybe we'll send him another build um, in the next few weeks or so. Um, he's probably gonna dig it. Yeah, I hope so. Like, uh, the one you sent me, it's, yeah, it's quite enjoyable. Oh, Fun stuff. That, that, that's really good to hear. Like, I guess I've just been kind of nervous, like, wondering how people will receive it and all. Um, yeah, I mean, like, we're having so much fun, like... Yeah, I mean, I mean, it does show with all of the... Especially all of the extras. Not every game has it, and, you know, it, it is fun, like... There's some stuff, you know, just going through the menus and discovering... Hi, you have a red grenade. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we actually, I think we made that on stream, I think. Someone requested it, and I was like, all right, I'll make a red grenade. Um, and then, yeah, so I did it. <laughs> yeah, like, we, we have fun working on this, this silly game. And I mean, one reason why it takes so long is like we have so much fun like playtesting it too. Like, like I, I was fixing a bug yesterday, and I I realized I got carried away for like two hours just accidentally playing the game, <laughs> just like having a lot of fun uh, when I was supposed to be testing for this bug, and then the bug didn't show, so <laughs> I just kept playing and playing. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess back back to the history. Um, I guess yeah. Th then we got like a whole bunch of publishers. Um, we, I think we, we've talked to like we talked to basically like every like big publisher out there for indie games, and then we settled with uh, Team Seventeen. Um, in yeah, in twenty mid twenty twenty, we, we signed with uh, Team Seventeen, and then I, I guess yeah, from there like we had a budget, we had money, uh, we had testers, um, so yeah, we were able to just like like yeah build the game we wanted to like before. We were thinking like, oh, we want to do all this stuff, but it's going to cost money. Or <laughs> like, we're going to need people to test it. Like, we need people to market it. But once we signed with the publisher, it's like, all right, this is doable now. So then, yeah, like we weren't able to make a demo for, I think, uh, a couple of years until 2022. And yeah, I think by 2022, like you could play through the whole game from start to finish, basically. So it, it was, I guess, in an alpha state by then. And then since then, like, we've just been polishing. So it's like, yeah, like, and then <laughs> we're going to release in just a few weeks. Like, crazy, man, time flies. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. You know, especially when you're having fun. And that seem like you are. Yeah, yeah, we, we definitely are. Like, I mean, all the silly little details. Like, I know most people won't notice all of them. Like, you know, you can shoot a guy's head and then, like, a brain and like two eyeballs plop out like <laughs> mm -hmm. it's just fun stuff and you can uh, i think can further destroy the brain if i recall correctly yeah yeah you can turn the brain into little chunks you can turn the eyeball into little chunks yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah i remember that yeah. <laughs> i mean some people are into that so yeah we want people to have fun yeah i mean right now we're just we're putting the finishing touches on some destruction stuff yeah let's talk about that so uh what is gonna be the extent basically we have some environments like this one where we designed it to be destructible. Obviously, we, we can't make the game like Minecraft where like, you know, we designed this whole level, but then you can just take it apart. I guess because it is it is a shooter, like it's not Minecraft or, or Teardown or that kind of game. Like we can't let you destroy everything because then, yeah, there would be no level to, to play in. So it, for the sake of, you know, having a level to play in, like not every environment is destructible. Um, but we do have some like like this one where, yeah, it gets pretty intense. Like, uh, like bad guys spawn in, they start blowing everything up, and then you've got almost nothing to hide, uh, nothing to hide behind. So, I guess we have some some variety. Like we have, yeah, we have mostly like normal environments, but then once in a while we have environments that are like completely destructible, and then we have some that are like somewhere in between. So yeah, it's like a mix of of everything, I guess. Yeah, basically, kind of kind of feels like an enhanced uh, fear in a way. Yeah, yeah, we, we get compared to fear a lot. It's, it's, yeah, it's a bit, I mean, it's a bit scary, but it is cool, I guess. Uh, but I think people will have some surprises if, if they come in expecting fear. Like, there will be some things that are a little bit different, but we'll see if, whether they like it or not. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely, it's, it is different for sure. Yeah, like, it's, it's a much faster paced game, right? You can slide around and move super fast and dual wield shotguns. It's, yeah, a bit more ridiculous. Alright, so uh, basically the question about the release itself, 
what is the release date and the price? And is it gonna be early access or full release? I think full release, right? Yeah, yeah, it's it's full release. Like we we've thought about doing early access a bunch of times, but yeah, you know, we figured like we'll just release the full game like when it's ready and it's yeah, it's almost ready. Like we're just doing some tiny bug fixes. So the price uh, we can't announce just yet. Like we're still getting those details um, ironed out, but mm -hmm. it is going to be indie priced, so it's not going to be like, all those crazy expensive like games that have come out this year. Yeah, like I can't say the exact number. Yeah, it's going to be yeah, sure. Yeah, indie priced, not AAA priced, and yeah, June twenty first. So, all right. So the question that did came up in the talk before the interview. Do you have like plans for? After it is. Yeah, definitely. Like we've we've talked about so many ideas, and like there's so much stuff we want to do. Um, I guess it's just a matter of like, like how. I mean, I, I I guess like we have like a plan for like every possible, like thing that yeah every possible option. Like we have we have so many plans. Like we have like pages and pages <laughs> of plans, and we have all these prototypes and stuff. I, I guess what it really depends on is like how well the game is received and and what parts of the game people like the most, because I guess there is a lot of content in the game. Like, like we have I guess just like regular like like combat versus like soldier type enemies, and then we have like combat versus like supernatural like paranormal enemies, and then we have like stuff where you're investigating spooky stuff and you can't really fight. And then of course we have like the combat simulator, which is just like an arcade mode. So it's like, I guess the options are like, we can add more to like each one of those. Like we can have more soldier combat, more uh, spooky stuff, or we can try something like totally different. Like, like what if we made like a map editor, for example. Yeah, perhaps things like a uh, mod support. Yeah, like I think we've been looking at, at like how to do mod support, like I think we'll, we'll have some way for people to, to, to mod something and, and share it. Um, whether it's like making custom enemies or, or custom maps or, or maybe custom game modes with all the silly cheats we have. I guess it's just a matter of like, how do we uh, support sharing that stuff? Because there, there's so many options out there. Like there, there's Steam, but there's also like mod IO or it's like, do we make our own like, what do you call it? UGC workshop kind of thing. like. Yeah, we, we've looked into all the options, um, and like, I guess Steam Workshop is probably the easiest, but yeah, we'll see, because like, we might want to support other platforms as well. So I guess, yeah, it's just a matter of like when and like how extensive we want it to be. But uh, like, we, we all come from modding backgrounds, so like, we love mods. And like, I mean, even now if you go on Mod Nexus, you can find some silly skins and stuff for the 2022 demo. So. I'm I'm sure at launch, like even though we won't have a mod SDK, like some people are going to be making unofficial mods. So, yeah. All right, yeah, awesome, great to hear. Okay, so thanks for coming, man.